Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to Celebrating Act Two, a founder's vlog with uh, my partner, John Coleman. Uh, Co-founder, if you will. Thank you very much, Art. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, we, we, I was going to say we have to stop meeting like this, but actually, we, yeah. this has been great meeting on Skype, hasn't it? Uh, it ha because, first of all, we're getting what, uh, to paraphrase uh, an oft-used joke from a lot of people, we're getting about uh, 30 days to the gallon. Yeah. So, <laughs> so our, our fuel bills have gone down considerably. Yeah. Yeah, and it's cheaper than, let's say, meeting for lunch, right? But not as much fun, though. I am it looking is. forward to getting back to the Calisto Cafe, uh, which is that, that halfway spot between our two yeah. places. I know. It'll be good. Well, And we'll do that soon. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, I love your background, your green screen background of Crystal Cove, because it's summertime. And uh, that's a great summer uh, uh, summer place. You know, summer. just reminds me, today should be a day for shameless plugs. That's uh, the background was provided by uh, the, the husband of a friend of mine, uh, uh, Bill Drysdale. Uh, oh, the artist, yeah. The artist. And uh, um, uh, I've got a number of different ones. This is one I particularly like, but uh, I'm going to start switching them out from time to time because he's really got some great stuff. But back to shameless plugs. Uh, uh, well, that's that was your first shameless plug. First that's one. What you're telling. Yes, for Bill Drysdale. Right. But, Bill Drysdale, artist and painter. Oh, anyway, go ahead. Yeah. And so um, the next shameless plug is some, we try to remember at the end of our segments uh, to say, and remember, please go to uh, our YouTube site, Celebrating Act Two, that's with the number two, and subscribe and tell a thousand of your closest friends to do the same. Right. Okay. But we've had a, an opportunity to do lots of shameless plugs and we do it about half the time because quite frankly for the last three months while um, being sequ mostly sequestered has not been the greatest fun we've met a lot of interesting people haven't we yeah and and it's that it's this electronic skype thing that uh, uh, has made it possible because we've talked to uh, we've regularly talked to bill jordan and he's in north carolina right. we talked to uh dr liz she's in the bay area san francisco ed, bay ed Proust, who is uh in uh, lower up in upstate new york in, in new york yeah now ed, dr ed is a, was a fascinating interview i thought um he's real serious about his profession which is dentistry uh, and and, and, know, and, re and reopening because uh, they've been shut down since almost the beginning you know, I got a whole new perspective on dentists and the and the world of dentistry uh, as a small business because that's what they are. They're a mom and pop, well, maybe not mom, but a, a, a family, but usually a family business. Um, we have a dentist who's a father son team, hmm. but most dentists are one or two guys, you know, at most. And uh, boy, they've got, you know, they, they typically have four or five employees. And they were all out of business because of the COVID shutdown. So is that when we released yet, or is that coming up this week? No, we released Ed last week. I last think. Last week, okay. Yeah, I could look it up, but it, he, yeah, but he's been out there, and I hope people, I hope people watch that interview. And John Mariani, John Mariani, the virtual gourmet in Elmsford, New York, or that thereabouts. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this and, is and interesting. I'm, I'm hoping that because Mariani, of course. Uh, has for 40 years or so been writing about um, food uh, and and uh, restaurants. But in that 40 years, he's also started writing about traveling because he goes to restaurants all around the country, all around the world. Um, I've had dinner with him numerous times around the country when he was doing his um, – Every year he would do the cover article for Esquire magazine, mm -hmm. 20 best restaurants, 20, 20 best new restaurants in America. Um, but he goes to Italy and France and uh, pretty much everywhere around the world and reports on uh, not only the, the food, but the city, uh, the environs, uh, wine, things like that. So his travel element he, he told us, I don't know, months ago that he didn't want to talk about travel because people can't travel. Right. 
you know. But now I think people are going to start traveling again, maybe only by car, maybe not airlines for a while. Um, and I'm hoping we'll we'll get to talk and travel with him because he's got a fascinating um, – uh, many fascinating stories about where he's been and where to go. Uh, great, great, great travel story. So I'm hoping that'll get back to normal. So, so um, uh, also, we, uh, 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 because of the, this uh, new technology of, uh, and it's really kind of amazing how uh, two tin cans and a string have come, <laughs> okay, uh, in the last, uh, well, just a couple of weeks uh, that we've been using it. But uh, yeah. we have uh, Michelle Fabrica up in uh, oh, the Michelle, Bay Area. Was it, was it, what a great find. Here was a, a, a lady who is a relationship coach. The love a, coach. Love and relationship coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, we interviewed her and said, Michelle, you're terrific. Can you do this again yeah. and again and again and, and again? And she has. Uh, <laughs> She's yeah, a regular. She was a perfect um, – because we do a lot of one-offs, uh, people who have an interesting story to tell. But she sure, was, like Rick Sherman. Yeah, Rick Sherman. What a, I mean, we've known him forever. And yeah. uh, here's a guy musician, who's local uh, musician. Yeah. reinventing himself because he did, in addition to the sound studio he runs and is well known for uh, 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 his expertise in that and creating jingles and things like that. Uh, but yeah. he used to perform every week, one or two nights a week at local clubs. Yeah, he's back to doing that, by yeah, the way. Yeah, just started. Just last week, he, he uh, is back to, I think it's Victoria's in Newport Beach. Um, don't quote me on which restaurant it is, but one of his regular uh, spots. He's, he appeared, I think, Thursday and Friday night. So things are changing, and he's getting back to normal, yeah. But yep. Rick is a great interview, and not a regular, but a great, uh, fascinating story, great guy. So, so I think anybody would enjoy hearing his story. So the last uh, three months, I think we've done between regular contributors and yeah. uh, what we call a, a one-off, uh, just an interesting story about an interesting person. Sure. Uh, we've done about um, uh, 70 or so uh, interviews, some 10 or 15 really? minutes. Yeah. Uh, that many? Yeah, because... Uh, We're just having fun, and I don't count them up, uh, but... Uh, you know, it's just fun to, to meet these people and talk to them. And and so, actually, they all are interesting. And we we do maybe sometimes three and four in a session. Um, but um, and every one of them is so interesting that we'd like to keep going on. But they actually have to get back and do other things. But like uh, just a few days ago, we did another three or four segments with uh, Manny Pacheco. Right. And right. He, he's got these amazing stories about Hollywood. He's a, he's a historian uh, and he speaks well. He's, he's the kind of guy that you just like to sit down and have a chat with. Yeah. Well, he, uh, of course, he's written a couple of books about uh, forgotten Hollywood, right. so the hi history, uh, behind the scenes history of Hollywood. And they're great people stories. Um, you have to watch the, the episodes with Manny to get the sense of it. Uh, and I don't want to repeat any of them, but we'll bring up you and I'll bring up an old movie or a new movie, and he'll tell us about you know how Peter Lorre met somebody. Or it's just great stories. And what's really great about it is we get to do we switch to a one shot on him. He times we can go off and drink a cup of coffee and <laughs> a grab a little, put our mics on mute, and yeah. he'll go on for about uh, ten minutes on. But I mean, just really dig into uh, uh, stuff. So. Uh, and by the way, uh, 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 now like, let's consider this a, a mini commercial break. So if you want to see any of our regular contributors and binge watch them, you can actually go to right. Celebrating Act 2 or, on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, please, of course. And then yes. uh, we have uh, uh, playlists for Manny and uh, Forgotten Hollywood and the Virtual Gourmet yeah. and Michelle I Fabrica. Like and, and they can go... Uh, uh, especially if you happen to just catch one along the way and say, All right, I'd like to see some more, we won't right. make you hunt and peck around for them. Just go to the web, yeah. go to the YouTube site, and you can binge watch. Right now, we do put them up on the website, so they're all they're all there. Yeah. All the ones we've done of our regular contributors, and you can go to the contributors page and and link to the their list of uh, videos that we've done with them. But I do like the YouTube. Um, feature 
of playlists. Yeah. That's I think that's a great idea, and and I'm glad you're uh, maintaining that for everybody. So that's terrific. I wanted mm-hmm. to mention uh, uh, Ross Costa. Oh uh, yeah. As we, t- we talked about one-offs, now Ross not a regular, but what a fascinating guy. He's I don't know how old he is, but he's certainly enjoying his second act, his act two, and um, musician most of his life, and played the ukulele for us. Played a I don't know. A couple of dozen songs. Right. Uh, just fascinating. Really good. Yeah, really yeah. good. Entertaining, too. We actually uh, met him as a... Uh, uh, I, I've been practicing with him off and on for years as a Tai Chi coach. And every summer we would sort of get together for a, uh, a World Tai Chi Day. And he would entertain us at some point with ukulele. And uh, I found out that not only does he teach ukulele as well, uh, and for the four the right. four sisters with the big sisters band, but he's yeah. been a musician all his life, and that's actually even though he has a I think a master's in public health or something like that uh, as a profession, most of his life has been uh, in music doing gigs of of all sorts of instruments. Uh, but the ukulele yeah. he happened he had an assignment in uh, Hawaii for a couple of years, and really got into the ukulele. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, he was fascinating. Well, thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness for us he went to Hawaii because um, I love his uh, ukulele playing. And he plays uh, not just Hawaiian stuff. He, play, he can play anything. And also, by the way, uh, one of my, one of my uh, I'm going to try to sound very modern, one of my okay. funnest, one of my funnest uh, uh, people that we have on our site is uh, Sarah Surrett, who is a, uh, a dog trainer. Uh, I call yes. her dog trainer. She's more than that. But uh, I we don't she's own an it. animal. She's an animal behaviorist. Right. We don't own a pet, and I just <laughs> she's she's just so delicious, and uh, she knows what she's doing to help yeah. people understand what kind of pets might be best for them at various stages of their life, and then yep. you know how to train them. So she's yeah, just that's so much her fun. First, yeah, her first her first series for us um, for celebrating Act Two is really how to find the perfect pet uh, because. You know, if if you're looking for a pet for kids, that's a lot different than looking for a pet for somebody who's retired. Right. Uh, or if you've got a family, you know, you, you've got uh, little kids and you've got teenagers and you've got everybody's busy, you know, and she's got a, a ranch where she's got goats and horses and a, a pig. And so she can really address um, the the issue of space for an animal for a pet so she's been doing she i think her i don't know how many videos her series is going to run but once she finishes the um how to find the perfect pet for you series which i think will be about 10 videos um she's going to go into training tips and just animal stories which will be uh, fascinating i think everybody loves those animal stories so uh, uh at this point though for anybody who's watching We've now sort of gotten this down to um, uh, a science enough that we're looking forward to finding even new people. Anybody our audience could suggest who you think may be an interesting story of, of reinventing themselves uh, uh, into, yep. the, into their 50s or, or beyond, any age. And um, we don't care where in the world they are as long as they can get Internet access. Right. Uh, and well, one of, you, Art, you remember one of our first um, interviews was Vince McMahon, uh, not McMahon, Vince McCullough. McCullough, right. Uh, who uh, you had done Tai Chi with. Yeah, you, as, and still do uh, for the last decade. Yeah, and I, I guess Vince is now about 86. We interviewed 80, him a few years 80, ago. 89. 80, really? And, and as so, limber as ever. Uh, he's a, he's amazing, ex football coach, and he teaches Tai Chi. And uh, uh, boy, he's he's good at what he does, and he's very inspirational. So it doesn't matter how old you are, if you've got an interesting story, and you're doing something interesting with your life, and uh, you can help others by what inspiring them or just being an example. We'd love to we'd love to bring you on to Skype and interview you and talk to you and share your information, share your story with us. So before we sign off, um, uh, it just struck me um, that we, we're calling this the Founders Vlog. And uh, how, how do you like to say vlog? You say... I, like, I, like, I always, when I hear the word instead of blog with a B, 
when I when I see the vlog with the V, it always makes me think of a um, of a, a, a vampire movie. So hmm. I say vlog. So I, so I, wa I wonder if maybe to help bridge the gap, because I'm just thinking back to something uh, I inadvertently said earlier, uh, maybe we ought to change it from uh, a founder's vlog to uh, two, tin, two, can, two tin cans at a string. Oh. I wonder whether or not we could have... Uh, uh, that, that, reference might be, <laughs> that reference might be out of date, I don't know. Well, but... Even for some of our <clears throat> newer members of the uh, yeah, Over I mean, 50 you know, Club. You never know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, sure. Go ahead, John. Uh, no, no. I I beg to differ. Go ahead. Well, I'm looking at Please. you now. We we know that we. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's Thank you, Art. We have to it's... look in the wrong direction oh. to see this. Oh, look, Art. <laughs> yeah, that's the technology. I love yeah. it. We have to fake it. Right. Yeah. Um. So anyway, I guess the bottom line here is we've been having too much fun. Uh. No. 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 Not there. Never too much. Too much chocolate <laughs> sometimes, but not too much fun. <laughs> not too much fun right so we've been having fun we want to share it with you watch the videos go to celebrating act two on youtube and what should they do uh, when they get to celebrating act two with the number two at youtube what should they do there john well they should subscribe of course and should they tell a thousand of their How, closest what friends what do you think they should do well, tell they a thousand of their closest friends oh that's part two yeah <laughs> thank you thank you for, you're good you're good plugging a good plugger yeah um, so yeah, go to, to watch the videos and give us some feedback, but also share with us um, if you know somebody with a great story. Um, anybody over 50 is what we're talking about. That's your second act. Or yeah. anybody who's planning to be over 50 someday. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I, I, a lot of people don't get that when we say if you're ever planning to be over 50, because people go, What's 50? Wow. Oh yeah, wow, what does that mean? Right. You know. I guess we're not I really. I guess we're not really up to the millennials yet. No, they're they're on their way. What's the next generation after boomers? Uh, generation X. Uh, I don't know. Generation X. The baby boomers are now uh, something like fifty-five to seventy-five. So right. that generation X, if that's the next generation, well, they're already over fifty. I they're, always starting. I always considered us to be intergenerational, and since oh. I have a twenty-five year rolling plan uh we're gonna be a 30-year rolling plan it, well I, you know i'm trying to be I'm trying to be realistic yeah <laughs> anyway so you're you're planning on not dying for 25 years a minimum right? minimum okay i've got and, i've and got then, it laid course, out next year and then next year it'll still be 25 years away from your death rolling plan That's your rolling plan well done we you know yeah. you're sharp you're keeping really it sharp takes, it takes me a while to figure this out but that's that's okay <laughs> So I like that. Okay. I like that. Yeah. So there, there's, uh, you know, life is different over 50. So, uh, you know, I think also what, what what's really happened here, John, is that we're beginning. We're beginning to yeah. realize when we've been on just a little bit too long. And I, oh, I think I, I don't think so. I think we, we missed that mark about five minutes that, ago. That's what I'm suggesting. <laughs> so uh, so that now everybody can get back to getting up and stretching their bones and yes. uh, going out and, and running. Going to YouTube and subscribing, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. you you have work to do in your uh, forest, right? You're growing I do. A forest? My grove in the grove. I'm I'm fertilizing the the uh, uh, the fruit grove too, today. Too much information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say, go say, say goodbye, Art. Goodbye, Art. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.